fifth grader Kevin Galdamez says he wants to be an engineer. Everything you learn in school, you got to learn you, um, use an engineer like math. But the Bush administration's No Child Left Behind Act has narrowed the curriculum to the basics. The law's standardized testing assesses only math and literacy and has put science and technology on the back burner. And that's a problem because STEM jobs are in high demand. STEM is an acronym for science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Eight out of ten of the fastest growing jobs in the country are STEM jobs. Eight out of ten of the best paying jobs in the country are STEM jobs. So we want to encourage kids in a pipeline to those STEM jobs. But at Broadacres Elementary School, 90 percent of the student body lives below the poverty line. For many kids, school is the only time when they have access to technology and they need all they can get. As these guys are entering the job market, they're going to need a whole new set of skills um, and those skills are going to have to adapt over time. Uh, if we don't start now, we're really doing them an injustice later. Bayowitz hopes the Obama administration's education reform will place more of an emphasis on educating the whole child, and that includes a focus on the STEM subjects. In the meantime, Bayowitz used federal funds to install interactive Promethean whiteboards in 10 classrooms, and he hired a technology teacher. Students have lessons with her in the computer lab once a week. It's more interesting to work on technology instead of reading a text because it's more funner. Students are learning how to type, how to research, and how to use technology to enhance the learning experience. I really like it because Ms. Simmons is teaching me good stuff. Good stuff that will teach him the skills to become an engineer. Reporting in Washington, I'm Lauren Drell.